Hi, so this is uh, Nick from RoboServe, and today I'm going to be taking you through the setup of the Aber X8. So you're basically taking it out of the box, and now you want to know how to connect it to the app, um, and um, and basically charging, um, and yeah, how to kind of best use the machine. So uh, <coughs> let me just show you what I've got here. So I've got the, um, the machine here, and I've got the charging station there. You can see where it's plugged in. I normally try and um, keep the cords. Sorry, the cords. You can see the cords there. I try and keep the cords, um, you know, up. So if they're on the floor, and you know, just say, just say it's like this, you know, uh, then um, yeah. I mean that this could be a problem where it could actually get caught on this on this cord here. So um, so yeah, I just normally just kind of lift it up like that. All right, and then uh, just something to consider is, and I'm going to show you this in the actual user booklet. So let's go to uh, this page here, sorry. So if you go onto this page, um, you can see here um, that there must be 1.5 in front of the machine, and there must be 0 0.5 on either side. Um, clearance so that it can quite easily find the charging station um, and um, yeah so that it doesn't have any kind of problems uh, recharging and then going back if it hasn't uh, completed its uh, cleaning session okay so um, basically starting the machine up you'll see I've put the dustbin unit in and I've taken the mopping unit out okay when putting the Dustbin unit in. Let me. I just want to show you. Uh, just make sure that it locates correctly. Okay. You must hear it. Click in. Okay. Let's just do that again. There you go. Okay. So you can just kind of hear it click in. Then you're going to come around the side here, and you're going to flip this switch here on. Okay. Glad to serve you. Okay. The robot is ready. All right. So the very first thing you want to do here is you want to put it on the charging station. So I don't suggest that you actually take it, lift it up and put it there. But you actually press the home button and let it do it itself. That way it uh, will connect correctly onto the charging station. The other thing, while it's making its way to the uh, charging station, just make sure that you charge it six hours. Six hours is a full charge. So before you run it, you must obviously run it fully. You must you must charge it for six hours so that it's fully charged. So this is quite interesting. This is not as planned. But it's just, I think it's actually important to show you this so that if it doesn't get there, charging start. doesn't locate itself correctly onto the uh, charging station initially, it will actually find it. It's not a fault the way it's just done it. Uh, it just sometimes it doesn't line itself up correctly. Um, but yeah, I mean, as long as it gets onto this charging station and it says that charging start instruction so then everything's okay okay you're gonna go into the app store google app store or the apple app store and or i store i think that's what they call it you're gonna type in two years so you can actually see i've got it at the top there to your smart life Click the top app, click install. Okay, waiting for it to install.
And click open. Okay, agree. Now I've already um, got a login, but you would click the sign up and then you would put your email address and you'd set up um, your password. But I'm just going to go back because I've already set that up. So I'm just going to put in my username and password. Click agree, log in. Okay, now it's logging in. Shows me where to add a new device. Gonna click add device. Okay, just make sure that you're connecting to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. That just means it's a it's, it's a far-reaching Wi-Fi signal. The five gigahertz is not a far-reaching Wi-Fi signal. Okay, successful peering just to make sure uh, you enable the relevant uh, access on the app, your apps. And um, you can need to complete your peering uh, after the device is reset. Okay. Allow. Then go down to uh, kitchen. Go to small home appliances and um, go down to the robot vacuum Wi-Fi. So you click on that. That's that middle one. Okay. Then you're going to put in your Wi-Fi password. Just this is so important. Get this right because um, that's the main reason why you're not able to connect to your machine. So I'm putting that one in. It then needs you to. Click the button, okay, that uh, power button until it says that it's ready to connect to the network. So hold that power button in until you hear it say ready to connect to the network. Okay, it should be flashing like easy mode. So click the button on the right, but just have a look at how it's flashing because uh, if you didn't get your password right or was not able to connect and it's trying to reconnect, uh, that's when you're normally going to click the, the button on the right. But for now, we're going to click the EZ mode. Okay, so now it's going to try to connect to the machine. Make sure that the machine is quite close to your Wi Fi router and your phone is also close to the Wi Fi router that device if you want to rename it you do click done this is the map that I've already uh, loaded on this machine because I've obviously had a got a login you can now go ahead and push auto clean at the bottom left hand corner and uh, let it fully map the area that's the end of the setup. In the next video, I'm planning to take you through the setup of the different rooms. So if you're keen to see that, remember to hit the subscribe button 
Until then, have a good one. Cheers.